deploying this asset. And last but not least, Miss Annie. Excellent. Heartbreaker Annie. To Too good. Yes. Best backup. Oh, hello, Panic Civ. That seems to be a bug on this map. Just one Civ in random is just panicked at all times. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alrighty then. So the Civ is walking out now. That's my gear. Thank you, got four masks, even though it's only one person here. Two people coming down. Server room, storage, and storage. Alright, the reason why I killed these guys is because uh, when you get far enough in this heist, they actually notice this door open, and it's really just a matter of time before they see it, so I'd rather just deal with them now and kill them. Makes things easy. Found it. Ah, Archives. Hey, Hello. Radio. Barney, your popcorn is getting control. Alrighty. Open that door. Come down. Hey, the door's open. Drop an ECM. Fine lady here. Now, the reason why I drop an ECM here is because the cameras in this room are placed so beautifully that they're really fucking annoying. So, I just like getting rid of the Civ ASAP. Because, here, I'll show you in a sec. Oh, hey, I actually got it. Wow, beautiful. So, this camera and that camera pretty much make this entire area here very hard to traverse. Especially since the Civ can also come over here and spot you, too. So, I like just putting down that ECM and dealing with it as soon as I possibly can. Alrighty. Take that. I go find the van, I suppose. Is it on this side? I think it might be on this side. Locker room, delivery room. Hello, delivery room. And I guess I will go down here first. And this guy is kind of hard to uh, deal with as well. I mean, like, he just walks back and forth between, like, right here and right there. So it gives you very little time to actually pick these locks. So I might as well just take him out and open these in my leisure. That's three pagers down. Make note of that. I'll get the blueprints. Don't worry. I want to get the codes first because, well, I have to get the code eventually. So I might as well get it now. Uh, the code can be in three different places. Uh, this is as long as you buy Heartbreak Annie, I think. Uh, the code will show up at the VIP lounge. So the three places I know it can be is VIP lounge, locker room area, which is where I'm at now, and in the manager's office inside that safe that I uh, took the painting from. Take that. Might as well open all of them since I'm already this far. Alright, and the way the code works is uh, RGB, red, green, blue, that's the the order they come in. So this is green, so I don't know the other two yet. We'll figure it out. 
Uh, nope, not this room. Let's go in here. Open this. So yeah, that is the uh, order that the code is uh, in, because which one, you know, which one they appear on the laptop is completely random, like which order it is. So, it's nice to have it color-coded, even for someone like me that has a hard time differentiating color. Still kind of nice, like I can still kind of tell between the green and the red. Though it is difficult. Let's see what this one holds. Blue for... So... Yeah. Now we gotta find the last digit. Okay, now I'll put the thing in here. And make sure when you put in these blueprints and you scan it that you do not take the key right away. Or the USB stick, I mean. 102, that's right above me. Okay. Yeah, you see, when I pick up that code or that flash drive, it procs a line from Bane. If you pick it up too fast, right after you do the blueprints, uh, you'll actually overwrite his dialogue and he won't tell you the the room number, which is incredibly frustrating. So that's why I do that. All right, now we're gonna head our way over to the VIP lounge by uh by where Heartbreak Annie is. Oh my freaking lord. My aim is terrible. Oh, she's coming this way. Yeah, you have to be careful because sh uh, that bartender can sometimes go behind the bar. And that's really the only place you can hide behind. When dealing with uh, this room. Oh, there she is, she's gone now. So, blue bottle in VIP. I'll make mental note of that later. Five. Oh, wait, I need to go this way, too. Okay, make sure nobody's going up the stairs. Don't go too fast, because they can spot you. Alright, let's see. So, the code is 534. Nothing here. I guess since I've got some time to kill. Ah, you got tased! Better get down. There's a lot of extra small loot in this map. I guess if you were to go for all, that would be quite something, but uh, I'm not really too interested in that. It takes a long time. Is there someone? Yeah, someone going up. Elvis is going up! My man Elvis. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh! 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 I did- Oh my god! <laughs> did not see him. We're okay. I need to make it back to the bathroom. I need to tinkle in this glorious ladies' bathroom. Oh! I am such a dirty person. How dare I go to the ladies' bathroom? Am I not a man? Alrighty. Now once that's done, we gotta go spike the drink. Now this is where we play the waiting game. And we try to figure out where the heck he's going. Is he gonna go this side or the other side? Is that him? No, that's not him. Yeah, I think he went to the other side. Alright, so I'll go around the other side then. Oh lordy. Got him. Now I just have to be able to find out what drink he has on it. 
blue. Oh, and in the VIP lounge is blue. Wow, that's incredibly fortunate. Nice. That means I don't have to go upstairs at all. Okay. I think he'll make his way over here now. I think. I don't. I haven't played this heist that much. I don't know all of his routes. I know, like, sometimes he'll go through a bathroom and outside, which is, like, worst case scenario. You want to keep him in the bathroom if you can. Uh. Is he coming this way? Don't know where he's going. Oh, there he is. Wonderful. Nice. Nice. What was that room again? Uh, 102. And that is up there, yeah. The 150s are on this side. The 10s are on this side. So that's nice. Okay, let's make our way up. I don't think I've ever seen a sieve go up those stairs, but eh, just to be sure. Be safe about it. I mean, they do give you a pillar here for a reason, probably, in case uh, you do see a sieve. Or a guard come to up or down, you can hide behind it. Nah. I was gonna say, I'll be bold and go right behind. Eh, fuck it. He'll be on the move soon enough. Right? Come on. Okay, there we go. Well. That happened. Now it's a good thing we have this pillar here. Uh, let's get him to go a little closer. There we go, perfect. He should be hidden, right? Yeah, no one will see him. No one will see him! We're okay. Oh, Bane! No! Not Bane! Okay, let's pump the gas. Yes! No need to worry about cameras. Oh, hey, Elvis! Ah, I missed my chance. <laughs> Should have tied Elvis up. Steal his, his toupee and his glasses. Mask up when I'm ready. I, I've been masked up, Bane! Fucking crazy, kooky nuthead. Anyway, now comes the boring part, which is mostly moving bags. Hello, my beauties. Something else that I haven't done yet that I really want to do is I want to kill someone here and see if it gives off a pager, but uh, I'd rather not do that right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that some other time when I, you know, uh, I've already done this. Alright, let's see. Pretty much after that... Yeah. Okay. And then we just walk stuff out after that. I have a feeling that overkill might change how the guards work in here because, like I said, uh, as soon as I take out those two, it pretty much gives me easy access to this entire uh, place, especially now that the cameras are done. So I can just walk here and uh, get the stuff out. The hardest part is just when the game makes you run all the way across the map. Like, you know, if I had to run all the way to the receptionist area where the cashiers are, and I had to go back, go do this, that, but now this part is mostly just moving loot. So once you get to this part, you're pretty you're pretty solid. Uh, I don't need you, Bane. Five, three, four. Wait. Oh, I did. Oop. Five, three, four. Enter. Okay. I had one. Yeah, red, green, blue. Nice. 
And I even got drill skills, so this won't take very long. I can push the button. Drums. Cymbals. I really like the loud version of the soundtrack. It's fucking glorious, but for the stealth, it's meh. Very meh. And this is the last key. Nice. Awesome. And, uh, I guess first I'll just grab this, and then pretty much after that, it's all just me moving bags very slowly. So I'll probably speed through that or something. <gasps> I'll take it. Okay. Awesome. Alright. And then uh, as soon as, you know, I take this up, uh, we'll be right as rain. So, gonna do some speeding up here. Alrighty, so you may have been wondering why the heck I'm organizing these so well, and that's because if you actually put them too far to the side or to the back, I notice that they tend to fall off like the bag. So you know how usually people, you know, they'll grab a bag here and they go, ha, pfft, right? It'll just fall on the back. A lot will go towards the back and, uh, yeah, they'll just fall off. So now I'm going to take a ride with my little pretties. I don't actually know if this is faster than just moving it up. You know, like this, because, you know, I put a lot of effort putting it on this, I suppose. And this one is going to go in last. Let me through. Really? Okay, fine. I forgot I had to crouch. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put this over here. But yeah, uh... Which way was it? This way. Okay. And... Yeah, uh, this heist, I don't know, it's fairly enjoyable stealth, I definitely enjoy it a lot more than Big Bang's stealth, where they made that one way too heavy on RNG dependency, whereas this, you know, even if it is a little bit RNG dependent, you don't have too much to worry about. You know, like, the first thing I can think of is the bottles, uh, which bottles and where they spawn. Where they spawn, it doesn't really change too much because the paths to go to them are not heavily populated and you know there's not a lot of people so uh, in that respect I do like how this heist is not so heavily RNG dependent I do think that Big Banks loud is uh, better than this 
I mean, the loud in this is pretty enjoyable too, but uh, I don't think it's quite Big Bank status. Something about Big Bank, it just flows extremely well. And if any of you guys know me, uh, I do like to say that Big Bank loud is probably one of my favorite loud heists. But the stealth for this is very enjoyable. The only thing I dislike is how long it takes. Also, how much, uh, how much desync can affect you, you know, being a client as well as having desync. Because a lot of the cover you take at this heist is about head height. So if you're not host, you're going to have a bit more of a difficult time. And not to mention with all the civilians around, desync is pretty brutal. And holy moly, uh, there's about 30 bags. I've done this three times now getting all the loot. There's 30 money bags. That's a lot of bags. Oh, and the painting too. Yeah, with the, with the painting, I think that's uh, 30. It's a lot of bags to move by yourself. In fact, I probably should have uh, sped up the rest of this too, but I did have a few more things I wanted to say, so uh, I felt like stopping it for now. Oh, wait. <sighs> I gotta leave that for last. But yeah, this heist is very enjoyable. Um, the new character, I, I I don't know, he's a Russian dude. I can't really say much about him. His lines are meh. And the weapons, the weapons are pretty cool. I do like those. I'll probably do something on the, you know, a video on those, giving some small impressions and whatnot. Try not to go too in detail. You know how it is. I don't like uh, sweating over the stats too much. I'm a big fan for use whatever you fucking feel like. And if you have fun with it, then so be it. They are pretty awesome weapons, though. I do like them. Come on. As for the perk deck, very interesting. Well, I'm going to have to play with that a bit more and see how that handles. Alright. The final stretch. Oh, and the reason why I didn't bring the dentist's magical mystery loot is because when I put that in, it procs the escape. And the escape is right next to the van. It's off to the right, it is, but I have a feeling I'll accidentally walk into it and pretty much make all of my effort here. Uh, well, yeah, it'll all be in vain because I'll be moving all these bags and then, boop, accidentally getting the escape and, well, there goes like 20 bags or so. <laughs> That, that, that's something that would happen to me. I am not the, uh, I am pretty clumsy. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. And as I mentioned earlier, I have a feeling they may change this part of the heist. I don't know how they're going to do it without making it super annoying, but they're probably going to change the way this back part works because as soon as I take out those two guys, I have free roam. And I have noticed that Overkill really does not like that. Of course, you know, it, it, anything that makes the game a little too easy in some respects, they should change. Uh, I think a Dockyard is a big example where some areas, I when I first did the solo stealth, I said, you know, if you take care of this guy, this guy, and tie this guy, uh, you can pretty much run all around, right? Well, they changed it so that they put a lot more there, and now it's just a little annoying to deal with. Of course, if it's not annoying to deal with, then it's too easy, right? It's hard to find middle ground. Huh. Bag after bag after bag. But yeah, I, I do enjoy the Golden Grin. Uh, it didn't completely blow me away like Big Bank did, but then again, Big Bank was a really different heist as opposed to all the previous ones, so there's that. But it's uh, very nice. I do like the visual style that they're going with. Um, Especially with the the last one too, Alesso, very colorful, very vibrant, and the same with the the Golden Grin. The Golden Grin has a lot of warm colors, you know, like the well, the oranges, the yellows, the reds, these kinds, right? Alesso was a lot more focused on the cool colors, the blues, the purples. And I I do like the the lighting they've had and stuff like that. The only thing I do wish is that these. Heists had a bit more optimization, like, you know, every time I face this direction, I'm okay, I got 60 frames. I turn this way, I pretty much drop, like, 10 instantly. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? I, it's about time for me to get an upgrade. I mean, I've been running a 760, I should probably upgrade and get some uh, better uh, graphics card and stuff like that, but... 
Uh, if I'm not recording, it's fine, usually. Oh, and this be the last bag. That makes 30. Yeah, see? It's right here. I have a feeling that if I, you know, uh, put that in first, I might accidentally have, like, walked into it or something. Yeah, I, I know myself a little too well. Nice. And you don't see me get any of the achievements because I've already got them all. Some of them in particular were pretty fun. Uh, do it under 14 minutes. That takes some nice coordination with a, a teammate. Definitely cannot do that loud. At least not that I found. I had to do that stealth. And I did it with one other person. Uh -huh. Oh no, not a reduction. I need all the EXP I can get even though I'm level 100 because I gotta go level up the perk decks. Nice. How many people did I actually kill? Two. But I dominated one, so three. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Very enjoyable. Pretty enjoyable heist. But it did also bring one of the greatest things ever to this game. Look at this! Fucking... <laughs> Isn't it glorious? Oh my god. Oh, and I can't switch characters. I would have liked to try Chain, see what he looked like with this, but... This is probably actually one of the best characters for it since he has... Apparently such a baby face. I haven't actually seen it myself because I've been playing as Sokol. Or however you pronounce his name. But a uh, nice little baby face to go with that. Magnificent hair, those sideburns and those glasses. Lovely. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you later.